Hello again, soapers, and welcome back to our daily soap. Today we're looking at Habakkuk chapter 2. What verse or verses stood out for you today? For me, it was verse 18, which says, What use is a carved idol after its craftsman, craftsman carves it? It is only a cast image, a teacher of lies. For the one who crafts it trusts in it, and makes idols that cannot speak. My O, oh, my observation is, only God can create life. Humans certainly can't create divine life and insert it into the images they carve. The Lord is the only uncreated God. You know, when we place our faith and our trust in something that we have created, um, that is always below God. Um, God is the only thing that is not created. Uh, God created everything else. And when we place our, our poor faith and our trust in the things of this world, um, we're really wasting our time is really what is being said in this verse. And so my A, my application is, sin is the result of my centering my life on something less than the unique creator God. My default mode or my sinful nature <clears throat> makes it easy to center my life on things or even other people to carry me through difficult times. But God alone is sufficient. His way is the right way. No one or nothing else can carry me through the disappointment and hardship of this life. He is the only one who can deliver me from trouble. And finally, my P, my prayer is, Lord, forgive me for the times when I place my trust in everything or everyone but you. Teach me in times of hardship and trouble to go, draw closer to you so that I might be eternally blessed regardless of the outcome. Amen. So this is how God spoke to me today. We'd love to hear from you all. You can use the comment section below the video and share your soap, not just for me, but for the others who are, who are looking at the notes that are written there too. I hope these videos are encouraging to you and help you to kind of understand the soap Bible study method. Uh, but most importantly, I hope you're growing uh, as you read God's word and you slow down to really hear what God is saying to us. You know, we talked about idols here. Sometimes time can be our idol, um, that we skip through things when we need to kind of uh, let them kind of digest in our hearts. We uh, are busy people and uh, busyness is related to time. And that, that we, we use that as an idol, that I don't have time enough to really get deep into this. Um, that's putting our faith in an idol. Uh, so take time in God's word. Slow down and really hear what God is saying to you. God always speaks to us every time we open his word. We have to make sure that our hearts and our minds are listening for that. So glad you're able to join us today. Now, as we close our time together, would you join me in a word of prayer? Let's pray. Father, it is so easy for us uh, to put our faith and our trust in things of this world. But Father, we cannot do that because anything in this world is one day going to pass away. Father, help us to remember that. Help us to fully lean into you in this life. And Father, we know that around us that uh, it, it is a dark world. Father, there are people who place their faith and their trust in other things but you. But Father, as we consider ourselves, Father, we seek your forgiveness for times when we have done that in our own lives. And Father, in the midst of those times, as we uh, renew that right relationship back to you. Father, draw us closer to you. Help us to become more like Christ each and every day of our lives. And we pray these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 
Have a great day. Be blessed. I hope to see you again tomorrow.